Good evening, folks. Welcome to Hermit Woods. Welcome to the loft at Hermit Woods. How many of you are here for the first time? Oh, excellent. Welcome. Glad you could join us this evening. I'm Bob Manley. I'm one of the uh, co-founders of Hermit Woods Winery. And uh, I'll give you a little, a little background as to, uh, as to why we're all here today. Um, my partners and I founded this winery 12, 13 years ago now, uh, at my home in Samberton, New Hampshire. We converted my master bedroom into a tasting room. It's exactly what my wife did when I uh, told her the idea. <laughs> when I told her I was going to fill her whole basement up with wine, though, she, uh, she started helping me move furniture. So it, uh, it, it grew in my home for about three years, and then we eventually uh, figured out we needed more space. So we found this beautiful building. It wasn't so beautiful at the time for sale here in Meredith, which was ideal because we could afford it. And uh, then we spent the last 10 years uh, making this space what it is today. And along the way, I had an opportunity to enjoy a, uh, a musical experience at Pittman's Freight Room in Laconia. Anybody heard of it? Yes, excellent. Um, this gentleman, John Lorenz, put on a, a thing called the New Hampshire Jazz Series, and he brought some spectacular music from all over New England and beyond to the stage at this place called Pittman's and put on a performance in the form of a listening room. And this is something I had never heard of before. And I got to experience music in a way that I'd never experienced music, in a way that allowed me to engage with the artist and the artist engage with me in ways I wasn't used to. And it was profound and it really left an impression on me. So much so that I befriended John. I became his champion. I did everything I could to help him succeed and, and do some photography and marketing and whatever I could do. Unfortunately, the uh, freight room did not last. It ended up going out of business. Well, fast forward to about 2017 uh, when we owned this building. This space was an 80s law office that uh, that really hadn't been used in 20 years and was really tired and and uh, we used it for storage and we uh, we, we uh, played ping pong up here or something and we finally said we need to use this space and it it dawned on me we could do a listening room so i called up john lorenz and i said john can you help me can we build a space that can provide that musical experience that i got to enjoy many years ago. And so we spent the, the next five years figuring out how do we bring this space together in a way that we can put music on in that format. And, and that's how we, we all came to be here today. And I'm so pleased and excited to be able to bring uh, some of the most talented musicians to this stage uh, here in the small town of Meredith. And, uh, and we've now been doing this for this. We started our first show in May of 22. So we've been doing this for almost a year and a half. We've had close to 70 shows. Uh, it's been super exciting. Um, it's every bit as interesting and maybe more so now because it's mine. And, uh, and so I've gotten, I've had the opportunity to enjoy some absolutely profound music in the last, uh, in the last year and a half, and I think you're about to enjoy some in that experience of yours tonight. So, um, so, so thank you for coming out and supporting live music and and uh, supporting this this type of, of venue. Um, before I go any further, I do want to ask if you could all give a round of applause and thank you for Colin and the wonderful team who's working really hard to bring our food out. Thank you, Colin. And I also want to. Uh, throw some love to Chris Mega back there. Chris 
uh, tirelessly sets up our stage and and uh, and runs the sound for us and makes makes everything sound beautiful um, uh, in this room. So uh, he's our sound engineer. So thank you, Chris. Um, I also want to let you know there's uh, some some new shows coming up uh, next Thursday. We have uh, Raphael Bass and Harmanouche coming to the stage, and uh, we have a. Uh, a fundraiser coming up on the 26th. Uh, we're raising funds on the last Thursday of every month for the children's auction in Laconia, the Greater Greater uh, Lakes Region Children's Auction. And so the last show of every Thursday up until the auction happens, uh, there's two more to go, the end of this month and the end of November. We're gonna be putting on Crimson Crew, which is a jazz, uh, a local jazz uh, band from the area that's gonna be here on the 26th. And Heather Pearson Trio will do their Charlie Brown Christmas on November 30th. If you want to attend that, I suggest you get your tickets early. We sell that show out every year, so uh, so we're really excited to bring Heather back with her with her Charlie Brown Christmas. Um, I, I also want to throw love to some other live music venues that that uh, put on a listening room series. Uh, Pittman's, I mean, I'm sorry, Purple Pit in Bristol has been putting on beautiful music for many years. Um, if you look them up, you'll, uh, you'll see what their performance is. I think they're, they're on a pause right now. They'll bring music back in the summer next year or in spring. And then the Sap House Meadery in Ossipi has started a listening room in, uh, in Center Ossipi. They do a wonderful job. They make some great mead, but they have a small venue where they bring beautiful music to the stage one Thursday a month over in Ossipi. So another great place to see good music. Not that there aren't a lot of other wonderful music venues in our Lakes region, but those are the ones that really focus on a listening room. And that's really what we're trying to do here. And that's what I want to promote. So uh, I think I've covered everything. It is a listening room. So we do ask just as a reminder that you remain quiet during the performance. And if you could turn your phones off so we don't have any phones ringing while, uh, while the performance is taking place. And I think you've probably heard enough from me. It's time to bring some beautiful music to the stage. So we're so pleased to have Grace Marie Wallace, the, uh, the Grace Marie Wallace Quartet back. Uh, she was here uh, maybe six months ago. I can't remember exactly what it was, but uh, it was a really wonderful performance and we're so glad to have her back again to this stage. Grace brings to the stage smart, thoughtful, and emotional renditions of jazz and movie selections that aren't often heard in a standard repertoire. So I think you're, you're in for a real treat. I know you are. It's, uh, it's going to be a beautiful show. So without further ado, let's bring Mark Shalansky up. Uh, Mark's on piano tonight. Welcome, Mark. Welcome back. Mark has played here many times. We're always happy to have Mark here. And then uh, Keala uh, Kamahiva. I got it. Thank you, <laughs> Kayla Kamahibi. He'll be playing bass tonight. Welcome. Thank you. And uh, Austin McMahon is on drums. Welcome, Austin. And of course, singing for us this evening is Grace Marie Wallace. Welcome to the stage, Grace. You're going to start. Oh.
Austin McMahon on drums, Austin McMahon, McMahon, Keala Kamahiva on the bass, Keala. and I like to play with these gentlemen as much as I can. They've each played here with other folks, but not with me. So musicologists who are studying this event now, you don't have to, you can cite this video as evidence that this is the first time the three of us are playing together in this room. But it's not the first time that Kayla and I have played. Well, actually, I shouldn't, I don't have to make all these connections. Um, but we are excited to be entertained by ourselves and help 
help this woman uh, entertain you, Grace Marie Wallace. Grace Marie Wallace, come on out and sing with us. Well, good evening. And it's such a pleasure for me to be back and to be included among these incredible musicians. It's such an honor for me. So thank you, Bob and Chris, for making it possible. And uh, we'll just jump straight in. This, this tune is called They Can't Take That Away From Me. The way you wear your hat The way you sip your tea memory of all that no no they can't take that away from me the way your smile just beats the way you sing off key the way you haunt my dreams no no they can't take that away from me we may never never meet again on the bumpy road to love still i'll always always keep the memory of the way you hold your knife the way we dance till three the way you change my life no no they can't take that away from me no they can't take that away from me. The way you wear your hat, the way you sip your tea, the memory of all that. No, no, they can't take that away from me. The way your smile just be, the way you sing off key. The way you haunt my dreams No, no, they can't take that away from me We may never, never meet again On the bumpy road to love Still I'll always, always keep the memory of The way you hold your night the way we dance till three The way you change my life No, no, they can't take that away from me No, they can't take that away from me Thank you. 
way you wear your hat, the way you sip your tea, the memory of all that. No, no, they can't take that away from me. The way you smile just speaks, the way you sing off key, the way you haunt my. Dreams. No, they can't take that away from me. May never, never meet again on the bumpy road to love. Still, I'll always, always keep the memory of the way you hold your knife, the way we dance to three. The way you changed my life. No, no, they can't say that away from me. No, they can't say that away. They can't say that away. They can't say that away from me. Thank you so much. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so this next tune um, is called You Stepped Out of a Dream. I'm a diehard Sarah Vaughan fan. And this is on her uh, Live with Mr. Kelly's album. I think it was about 1956 in Chicago. Um, I just kind of love everything that she does, but especially what she does with this tune. Um, so, uh, so I hope you enjoy it. Step down of a dream. You are too wonderful. To be what you see, can there be eyes like yours? Can there be lips like yours? Can there be smiles like yours? Honest and truly, you stepped out of a cloud. I want to take you away, away from the crowd and have you all to myself. Alone and apart out of the tree, safe in my heart. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
When I was growing up, I was not raised on jazz music at all. My dad was a diehard fan of early rock and roll. And so uh, we had these uh, tapes in the car. It felt like there was just one tape for some reason in the car. And it was just always the same one that was played over and over. And uh, the next tune I'm going to sing was on the tape. Uh, it's called I Remember You. But it was a very different version of, of the tune. Um, and I kind of hated it, probably because I just heard it so many times. But then I heard a singer named Edie Gourmet do it. And I'm a huge Edie Gourmet fan. Um, and so she, she did this tune. Um, and I kind of love, love her version. So the way we're going to play it is, is kind of inspired by her version. I remember you You're the one that made my dreams come true A few kisses ago I remember you You're the one that said I love you too Oh, didn't you know I remember too A distant bell And stars that fell Like rain out of the blue when my life is through And the angels ask me to recall The thrill of them all And I will tell them I remember you Thank you. 
this is a joke. I remember too. You're the one that said I love you too. Didn't you know? I remember too. I just unfell. And stars that fell like rain out of the blue. When my life is through, and the angels ask me to go the thrill of them all, and I will tell them I remember. Thank you. 
What's your what's your story? Why are you why are we doing Along Came Betty now? How did you come to that tune? Yeah. So um, during COVID, uh, when everything shut down and you know we had to shelter in place, I uh, I decided to um, join JazzOnlineVoice.com, which was this uh, incredible platform that Alexis Cole, an amazing jazz singer, she put together, mm. and she. Um, built this huge kind of forum of teachers and students could um, sign up for these classes. And so I signed up for every single one of these vocal classes and I would take one every week. And uh, one of my favorites was with a jazz singer named Roberta Gomberini. And uh, for that particular lesson, she performed the tune Along Came Betty which is what I'm gonna sing next. And uh, this typically is an instrumental of all the versions I've tried to research and listen to and uh, look into. It's hard to find a vocal version. Um, 
but she she did. And I think the words were written by um, a saxophonist. She used to sing with a lot named um, James Moody. Um, but anyway, this is an amazing tune uh, that I've uh, really grown kind of obsessed with. And uh, the words are pretty amazing as well. Um, so that's what we're going to perform for you next. We hope you like it. This is Along Came Betty. Say, 
Daddy's walking away. I was going to add to that. Um, I, I think when um, maybe this happens wherever you're from, um, you, want, you want to sort of emphasize to people the importance of the region you're from and what it might be known for. Here it's maple syrup. No, for, <laughs> <laughs> but um, so there was a uh, at one time Boston and New England in general, but especially Boston was sort of a, a city that was important in jazz history. And one of the people who was who made it important was a, a trumpet player named Herb Pomeroy, who taught at where um, Boston and I teach. So um, apparently his uh, Herb's first wife had passed away and uh, Herb would often have Benny Golson and James Moody come up and play in Boston with him. This is, I guess in the 50s or, or early 60s. And uh, and they were playing at a place called The Stables. So Benny Golson wrote a tune called Stable Mates. I think they were, the metaphor was that they were horses. But then they also, they played together at the at the stables. So anyways, he brought this tune in. It was called Along Came Betty. And it was because Herb had met, I don't know if it was the wife he wound up with his whole life, but yeah, he met Betty in the aftermath of his First wife's passing, so the long came back. So it was a little bit of a tribute to his buddy, her Pomeroy. So it has a little bit of a local impact that that song and the, the, the lyrics that James Moody wrote, while they could apply to many situations, appear to bear that out. All right, this has been smash that like button. Hit <laughs> go to my YouTube channel for more jazz facts. Like, <laughs> not really. I was trying to explain to my students, um, you know, um, when Harry met Sally. They knew that, but then I was trying to tell them about Harry Connick Jr., who had done the music for uh, When Harry Met Sally, and they, they, they weren't aware of that. But um, Harry Connick brought this tune back into common parlance, which had been recorded by so many great jazz artists and uh, Grace is here to rescue it from Harry Connick Jr. Now to <laughs> take it and make it her own. It had to be you It had to be I wandered around, finally found somebody who could make me be true, could make me be blue, or even be glad. Just to be sad, thinking of you. Some lovers I see might never be me, might never be cross or try to be false. But they wouldn't do for nobody else gave me that thrill with all your faults. I love you still. It had to be you, wonderful you. Thank you. 
this moment on. You hold me dear, only to forgive me from this moment on. On this happy day, no more blue song, only poopy do song from this moment on. You know you got the love I need so much. Got the skin I love to touch. Got those arms to hold me tight. Got those sweet lips to kiss me goodnight. From this moment on, you and I, babe, we're gonna be riding high, babe. Every carriage on promise from this moment on. This moment on, you and I, babe, gonna be flying high, babe, from this moment on, on this happy day, no more food songs, only We're gonna be flying 
first heckler. I, I knew I knew it would happen one day. Um, so we, um, this is a tune that I composed a little while ago, and I wrote it to um, perform with a tap dancer. And so I called it Tap That. And Apparently, the kids these days have corrupted that expression into something else other than uh, to do with, you know, harmless tap dancing. So if I can find it. But it's, um, this is also going to feature, yes, okay, it's in here. Uh, this is also going to feature our friend, whoops, um, Austin McMahon on the drums because we don't have the tap dancer here. Although next week there will be at least one tap dancer, maybe more than one. It's Silver Serenade. Um, there it is. Next week here at. Another extra chart. Or a... We got another page. Hmm? We need the page. Too. Oh, I got it. We got the page. Sorry. <laughs> It's, I have a joke that, that whenever a piano player says my trio, it implies a certain amount of ownership. Like my trio, they, they live in my basement. I throw them pieces of bread from time to time. And, uh, and I used to get the uh, Green Mountain Jazz News, um, which that was really a, a paper in the, in the 90s. And uh, it was addressed to the Mark Chelansky Trio, so I always thought that was funny. <laughs> this is where we live. Uh, I don't let them take gigs with other people, that kind of thing. There are fines for missing missing notes in my arrangements. Anyway, this is called Tap That. And imagine Josh Hilberman cavorting about when you hear this. It's Thank you. 
From the ridiculous to the sublime, we're going to bring Grace back. Let's make Grace feel welcome. Again. Thank you. Well, thank you so much. And gosh, what a pleasure. What a pleasure to be up here with these guys. Wasn't that last tune incredible? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, this next tune is uh, is one of my favorite uh, Antonio Carlos Schubin tunes, and it's called "If You Never Come to Me." Would 
you. Well, it is also too close to the end of our engagement here at Hermit Woods, but every Thursday and many other nights often there is great music here as Bob told you. So please continue to patronize this amazing establishment and thank Austin McMahon on the drums, Austin McMahon. <laughs> Kayala Kamehiva on the bass. Hey, Bob Slansky on piano. <laughs> Webster, New Hampshire's own. And um, where, where, were you, where were you born? Yeah. In, all the way from Worcestershire, England. <laughs> Grace Marie. Thank you. 
Let's, let's try this only the lonely way. Yeah. 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 Well, we love you. We love you so much that the people in the band who don't have anything to back out are going to play. <laughs> <laughs> warm as May 
each hopeless scheme Only the lonely scheme Of love somewhere You'll find a love that used to care And you'll recall That hopeless little dream like this come true If you find love Hang on to each caress And never let love go For when it's You'll know the loneliness, the heartache, only the lonely, lonely. Thank you.